Today, I'm going to be showing you guys a website that has absolutely smashed out of the park and they are, first of all, a very, very low DR website, so it's very easy to replicate their strategy, especially if any of you guys are just setting up a new website. This is the video for you. Um, this website's getting well over 100,000 traffic um, every single month to their website, fairly new-ish website, and they have done it with only... A, not a crazy amount of actual um, articles. So like what I said, very easy to replicate. You don't need many backlinks to actually do this website. Um, so let's get into it. One <clears throat> sheet that I will be using throughout this um, video is the article finder. If you guys want this, click the link down below and sign up to the article finder. It's completely free to use. Um, you don't need to pay at all, um, but it's just gonna make the process a lot easier, right? So the website that we're gonna be looking at is southern um, southernshell.com, and it is a recipe website um, talking about different types of actual recipes, um, how to actually make them. And if we actually take a look at their traffic, as you can see, they are, they've got 9,800 keywords that they are ranking for and 121,000 monthly visits through to the website. So um, for any of you guys that don't understand how the traffic works, if you were going to run PPC, so paid ads, this is how much you would actually need to spend to get um, that amount of or sorry, the $5,900 is the amount that you would need to spend every single month to get this amount of traffic. Obviously, because they're doing SEO, it's um, very, very free. And as you can see, <clears throat> um, they are ranking for more and more keywords. So if we take a look, um, last year, this website was ranking for 2,805 keywords. And if we take a look now, um, they are ranking for just over 10,000 keywords. One common issue that all website owners and business owners have is that they don't know what they need when it comes to SEO. This is why I've created the Traffic Accelerator System. The Traffic Accelerator System tells you exactly how many backlinks your website is missing, how many articles you need to publish on your website to gain topical authority, and also what internal link anchors you should be using on your website. You see, I've spoken to tons of business owners over the years, and one commonality that they all have is that they think they need to spend a lot of money to get SEO to work. In reality, that's not the case. The Traffic Accelerator system is actually designed to reduce your cost by taking guesswork out of SEO. If you want the Traffic Accelerator system for your website and you want to rank higher on Google, click the link down below. It's only $195 to get the audit for your website. Now back to the video. So let's take a look and see what type of keywords they're also ranking for as well before we actually break down the strategy. So banana pudding, um, that gets 50, or sorry, 87,000 searches every single month. Um, banana pudding recipe, um, how to make banana pudding, easy banana pudding recipe, so on and so forth. You guys get the picture. Um, if we take a look at their top pages as well, <clears throat> So obviously banana pudding is the most trafficked page, but they've got a lot of different recipes. So homemade vanilla wafers, um, peach cobbler with cake mix, and so on and so forth. You can see the bigger picture. And if we actually take a look at the website, now there's a few things that I would improve upon. Like for example, um, they aren't internally linking that well, um, to say the least. Like there, that's just like a, an outbound link. Um, this might be to like another one of their websites. To be to be quite honest with you, um, I think it might be actually. Let's take a look at this website as well. While we're at it, um, and see. So, no, actually, see, that's a actual huge website. But if we go back to the actual website that we're looking at, one thing that they do lack of is actually internal linking throughout the content. Um, they've got two links, and it just doesn't internally link at all. Um, they've got, like, some more recipes here. But if we were going to um, replicate this website, this is what the strategy that I would be using, right? So I would head over to the robots.txt. <clears throat> I would find the sitemap of the actual website, right? So this is the URL. We're going to go undercover here, right? So if we actually click on posts, we can see that they've only got 148 posts here. So it's not many articles at all. 
Now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be copying all of their actual URLs, right? So I'll only do like maybe 10 or we'll, we'll do these ones, right? We're going to go over to the article finder. Um, now, you can also just paste in um, the sitemap URL. Let's actually just copy this URL, right? Now, if we scroll in here or if we, if we zoom in, as you can see, right, there is a little prompt that I've created within this sheet. Um, so if we actually paste that in here, and if we do, let's say, um, we'll do cake, right? So this is going to only show us um, pages that actually mention cake, right? So this is all the pages here that actually mention cake. If we head over to the article finder, right, we can actually copy as many of these articles that we want. I'll only do like the top, let's say, we'll, we'll do the top nine. We'll, we'll replace these. Right, and we'll just paste that in here, right? So we've got eight articles um, in here. And as we can see, we've got the H1 for every single one of these. I'm not certain why the top one isn't actually working. We'll copy that first one again. We just copy that here, paste that in there. Um, hmm. In some cases, some pages actually don't allow you to paste in, um, or sorry, scrape the actual content. That's basically what we're doing here. But as we can see, we've got all of the H1s in um, the actual, uh, from their website. So if we actually just copy Orange Velvet Cake, right? So the next step would be to actually write some of these articles um, and actually start uploading the actual articles now you can use various different tools what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to head over to my website i've actually got a tool for this so if i go to tools here if i click click on the seo article builder um the article builder will actually allow us to create some actually seo optimized articles completely for free so if i actually head over to the article builder and I, what i'll do is i'll place links for both the, the sheets that we've used today um so if we actually go to their website here right and if we actually go to the article builder what we're able to do is we're actually able to grab all of the subheadings that they've also used as well, right? So we can actually either do this with their article or what we can also do as well is actually um, grab that H1, paste it into Google, right? So obviously they're ranking position one, but we want to take a look at position two as well. Um, so let's take a look at pesky-recipes.com. And if we grab this and if we actually paste that into this section here, what we'll have is we'll have a combination of both subheadings. To be fair, the content on that website is not that actual great. Um, it's not got many subheadings. So let's actually take a look at position number three. Let's see how well their content actually is. So yeah, we'll, we'll copy this. We'll paste that competitor in here. Wait for the subheadings to come along, right? So we've got um, an ingredients, cupcakes, frosting, instructions, etc. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to copy everything and head over to ChatGBT. And the prompt is actually built into this sheet as well. So now, what we're going to do is we're just going to paste that in the entire prompt. So all I've done is I've just copied all of the subheadings and also the blue section. And basically, what this is going to give us is a complete content outline to actually write the actual SEO optimized content. So we're just gonna wait a few seconds for this to completely finish. And as you can see, we've got a complete um, content brief. You can obviously go in and fine tune things. Like for example, I, I very quickly saw that this is actually got um, recommended products and also newsletter subscription. If our, if our website doesn't have a newsletter, that's fine. We can just copy all of the other subheadings. We're gonna go to the article builder and then we're going to paste everything in here. And also we've got um, a cheat sheet here as well. So make certain to check this out in case you guys don't understand any of the actual prompts, right? So we've got like different article scopes. So we've got informational articles, how-to guides, to uh, listicles, product reviews, news, FAQs, ultimate guides, service articles. We've got the... Um, <clears throat> 
possible actions for all of the readers as well. So like, do you want them to click through to related articles? Do you want them to sign up? Do you want them to purchase a product or a service, etc. right? So you've got all of these, and then you've also got the tonality of the actual article, right? So in this case, I'm actually gonna do a how-to slash tutorial, right? Um, I'm gonna plug in the keyword that I actually want to rank for, which is orange velvet um, cupcakes recipe. Right, that might be the keyword that I want to rank for, and I also I'm going to pick the tonality here as well. So I'm going to go come across as um, I'm going to stick to inf informative, and then the possible actions. Right, do I want people to um, potentially download the checklist, or do I want people to click through to a related article? Right, that's what I'm going to do, and then the sources as well. Right, so I'm going to see if there's a Wikipedia page for orange velvet. Um, cake potentially orange velvet cake is there a wikipedia page we can search wikipedia um red velvet cake i know i know it's not orange velvet but it could definitely be a good resource orange um i feel like there's no actual orange velvet we could even just keep that as um, empty as well. So now what we're going to do is we're going to copy all of this and if we obviously had the source we would copy the source as well um, but in this case we don't. We're just going to copy this and head over to ChatGBT and then just paste that in and this is going to actually create our article completely for free. We would obviously need to do this for every single article that we decide to actually make but that's the entire process from start to finish and one thing that I will also go into as well is we'll take a look at Hemingway Editor as well, um, just to actually take a look at the um, <clears throat> um, readability score as well. Um, whilst this is also loading, we could also go into phrase.io and we can also get an SEO score while we're waiting. Um, obviously, you don't need to use phrase.io, um, but I just want to show you guys the actual SEO score that's going to give us. So we're going to click on... Um, SEO workflow. We're going to put in our target keyword, which is um, we will do what was the keyword that we actually used? We will stick to that. Orange velvet cupcakes recipe, right? So we'll click that and we'll click create document. This will take a few seconds, right? And then we can also click on start research on the right hand side. I just want to show you guys the actual SEO score. In some cases, it's not 100% perfect. You will need to obviously add some human um, touch to it, but that's okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to first of all copy all of this then paste it into Hemingway Editor, right? So as we can see, the grade is five. So the readability is spot on. Um, you, you can obviously add a few extra touches and stuff like that, but overall readability is really, really good. Um, you could add in a few FAQs and stuff, but um, I feel like that this is pretty decent, it's pretty spot on. Um, if we actually take a look here, so we've got the actual outline um, so right now we are at 5% and um, the average score so other articles that are ranking for that keyword they are at 45% so we're just going to paste in our actual article and we're going to see what SEO score we get so as you can see we have got a article score of 57 straight off the bat um, so it's already above the actual average so this is what i would be doing if i was going to be replicating this website um i've actually forgot the website that we were looking at um where is it there it is here um that's not it if we go back one page oh there we go so as we can see southern shell bakes um that's what I would be doing. Um, obviously, it is a little bit of a long-winded um, example, um, but step by step, this is what I would be doing. I would be going through their entire sitemap, finding pages that I potentially don't have if, I, if I'm already like um, a competitor in that actual industry, find articles that they don't have, or sorry, find the articles that they have that I don't have, and then start to actually do the article building um, with the actual article builder. So there's two sheets in the actual comment, or sorry, the description. 
Um, one is obviously for the article finder. One is for the article builder. Um, and if you guys want access to both of those, you can check out casualdash.com. Um, so that's been the video on how to replicate a high traffic website. If you guys do have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. And as always, if you guys want a growth strategy call with myself or potentially if you want to work with me, check out casualdash.com. The link is in the description and thank you for watching.